Good morning, YouTube, and welcome to another fantastic episode of Rise and Shine Gaming. I'm your one and only host, Corky, here on the Corky World, Corky's World channel. Already flubbing lines, so we're off to a fantastic start. Uh, morning, guys. How are y'all doing? Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're doing fine. Hope you have a great weekend uh, looking up, looking forward to. This is starting out terrible, but I'm not going to restart, because that's not how we do things here. It's a one take every time. I don't feel the need to edit. If I fuck up, then you're going to hear it with me. So, to jump right in, uh, Ghostbusters, or Ghostbusters 2016, or Female Ghostbusters, or whatever you want to call it, the new Ghostbusters movie, the next, in, I don't want to say in the series, the next in the, we could call Ghostbusters almost a genre now, but... The next movie, Ghostbusters 2016, Female Ghostbusters, whatever you want to call it, comes out today, the day I'm filming this. So, I rolled out of bed, and here we are on the couch, you know. I plan on filming a little video soon for you guys to see. You know, uh, you guys at home can see my little terrible studio that I have set up here. I still need more shelving to put up all my pop figures. I need more cabinets for my video games. I need... It just needs a whole lot of love, and, uh... Being an up and rise, an up and coming YouTuber is is not great on the bank account, but I'm determined to get this off the ground. I'm determined to get this going. But enough of that. Enough of that backstory. We're gonna play the Ghostbusters game that came out second on Xbox 360 and I believe PS3. Ghostbusters: Sanctum of Slime. Now, I don't have a copy of the original Ghostbusters game that had. The voices of Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, I think Harold Ramis was still alive to voice, uh, I always forget everybody else who was in it, but the main crew was there and you were supposed to be taking the reins from them, which is what this next movie should have been, but if anyone's really interested in my opinion on that, I'll make a video, but there are so many opinion videos about the new Ghostbusters movie that I don't feel like I need to make one. So, this is Sanctum of Slime, it was, a, it was an Xbox Live and PSN game. And, uh, the reason I'm playing it is because I'll be a random, doesn't matter. And I'm going to actually start on level three because I know how to play the game a little bit and I don't want to play through the, the garbage. So this was how this game's story was laid out. They did it in comic panels. Super cool. Uh, the Ghostbusters comic is very good. If you ever get a chance to find a couple, couple, couple copies of that, pick it up. I am stuttering so much. Maybe I need a little coffee. I'm not going to read it. You guys can flip through it. This isn't going to be a super long video, guys. I promise. But a little backstory to why I am playing this. Not just that the new Ghostbusters movie is coming out, but the Xbox Marketplace on Xbox One is pumping a new Ghostbusters movie and game combo. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, cool, maybe they revamped the Ghostbusters game on Xbox 360 and PS3 that I didn't get to play. And when I clicked on it, it's a new game, or at least they're calling it a new game, but it looked very similar to something I'd seen before, which is what we are about to play right now. And... This game isn't great. It doesn't get good reviews. It's fine. If you love Ghostbusters and you... and You know, I could see getting into this game, getting four or three of my friends together. We suit up in Ghostbusters gear. We plop down on the couch. You know, maybe we have one TV that's playing Ghostbusters and then on another we're playing this. Yeah, that'd be a nice environment to get settled into and enjoy this game. But as a standalone with none of the main characters in it, you're supposed to be following this new crew. It's... The mechanics aren't enough to save the story, and the story's not enough to save the mechanics. So, here we go. Uh, plasma inductor. This weapon fires globs. Globes of plasma energy. Yeah, okay. So, look. There I am. I'm this one. And you use the thumbstick to control your... Let's remember how to play. To control your uh, plasma cannon. And then you have three plasma settings. Ah, uh, fuck I already died. <laughs> but the cool thing is, in this one, is if your friend dies, all you have to do is uh, revive them. So, it's semi-top-down. It's not all the way top-down, because, you know. But the way this game runs is almost like Smash TV, which you would think, 
amazing because Smash TV is incredible. That's just this level. They don't all look like this. If they would have all looked like this and just been different backgrounds and enemies, and that would have been a little cooler. So as you can see, I'm changing my gun every couple of times because the color of the ghost is the color of the plasma cannon you're supposed to use. And if you're thinking this looks familiar, it's because that new game that just came out on Xbox One looks exactly like this. So you got some bigger ghosts. And this is the game, guys. Like, it gets a little difficult. You know, it's obviously meant to be played with a lot of friends. Or, and I'd say a lot. Like, three friends. I don't... I don't think I've understood what Cash does yet in this game. But this is it. Like, this is the game. You're not seeing any, you know, hidden power-ups. You're not seeing... I'm not, like, showing you, like, oh, there's a level where you drive the car. And if there is, I haven't gotten to it. So one hit kills you. <coughs> or at least one hit from those guys. But, like, this is the game. This got the Ghostbusters stamp. And what upsets me is, you know, it got a few bad reviews, but then it was done. Like, that was the end of it. Like, I think it got... Uh, I don't even think bad is the right word. It just got okay, mediocre reviews, you know? Which is fine. This is a mediocre game. But there's a female on this team, and no one complained about it. And again, I'm not trying to get into that, that whole thing. I do not care one way or the other. I'm going to see the movie because I like seeing movies. But I would not see it for something like that. And I guess we could just call this my dumb little Corey. Uh, Corky expresses his feelings on the new Ghostbusters movie. It'll probably be fine. you know. And if not, I think it'll be because of the writing... I didn't care for Bridesmaids, either, and uh, Paul Feig, Feig he directed and uh, helped wrote that. That's another one of those movies where everyone's like, oh my god, it's the funniest thing ever, chicks can be funny too. And I never was non-chicks can be funny, it's just, Bridesmaids is not funny, to me. Look, we're not even on camera anymore, look. Anyway, this looks like something's going to happen here. Oh, using the wrong gun. Using the wrong gun. And, like, that's a cool, that's an interesting mechanic, having to switch guns for the right color, but it gets old and it gets annoying pretty quick. Like... I don't know how many levels are in this game, but as you can see, I'd only gotten to level 3, because at that point I was just like, that's enough of this. I, I get it. And then I think at the end it's supposed to be like, oh, whoever got the most ghosts, that's the winner of this round, but I don't think the Ghostbusters see it like that, you know? Like, actual Ghostbusters aren't like, alright, I got the most, so I was the winner. It's more like, yeah, we stopped, we stopped the city from getting taken over. I'm dead. So, let's see. I guess one of my teammates is helping me, so. Uh-oh. 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 He only wants me, probably because he knows I'm the only real character. And got him. Take that invincible shield now that there are a few ghosts. I guess these shots bounce off the wall if they don't hit something. That's weird. Anyway, anyway, guys, that's that's pretty much going to wrap up this episode. Oh, Blue Ghost, better use the plasma indicator on any more we see. Gotta love these weapon upgrades. Hey, this plasma thing seems better when it bounces. Sounds like my last boyfriend. <laughs> anyway, so, on that terrible, terrible joke... I'm going to end this episode, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Guys, if you want to see Ghostbusters, go see Ghostbusters. If you don't, don't. It's as simple as that. Be good to yourselves, guys.
Sorry this episode was super weird and all over the place and blah, 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 blah. Be good to yourself, be good to each other, and I will see you in the next episode. Later days, guys.